Welcome to Casareitos con Uco. Today, we're going to be talking about the three sisters. They are three vegetables that grow really well together. That is corn, pumpkin, and beans. The three sisters are the quintessential grouping that we can point to when talking about companion planting. That is plants that grow really well together because they give and take. So I planted the three sisters right behind me and we're going to be taking a look at what they look like right now. It's been about three weeks so you'll see at what stage of growth they are. I planted the three sisters in these three different beds. So let's take a look at the first bed. In the back, you'll see the corn. In between, I've planted a row of beans, but they're not up yet. And in the front, I've planted pumpkin. In this bed, we did something similar. You see the corn in the back, but in front, instead of beans, I planted peas. And then at the very front, we planted squash. And then in this section, in the back, we planted corn. The beans still haven't come up. And then in the front, you'll notice we have pumpkin growing. This is what the corn looks like about three weeks after it's planted. This is the pumpkin about three weeks later. These are the peas three weeks after planting. You'll notice that I put a little trellis behind the peas because as you can tell, the peas are growing much faster than the corn. Now I wanna make sure that the peas have a place to cling on as they grow. So, why are the three sisters really good together? Why are they great companion plants? And why haven't my beans grown yet? Let's find out. Some stories tell of a long winter when the people were dropping from hunger. Three beautiful women came to their dwellings on a snowy night. One was a tall woman dressed all in yellow with long flowing hair. The second wore green. And the third was robed in orange. The three came inside to shelter by the fire. Food was scarce, but the visiting strangers were fed generously, sharing in the little that the people had left. In gratitude for their generosity, the three sisters revealed their true identities, corn, beans, and squash, and gave themselves to the people in a bundle of seeds so that they might never go hungry again. An excerpt from Braiding Sweetgrass by Robin Wall Kimmerer. The three sisters are a staple of indigenous America, but where did these crops actually come from? Well, most archaeologists can trace these crops back to Mesoamerica. That is the part that we know now as Mexico and a lot of the countries in Central America. From there, these crops moved up toward North America and down toward South America. They were shared with indigenous groups in these areas who also took them and created their own varieties. Corn has such an interesting history. Scientists don't really know how humans created it, but the indigenous Americans were the first to create this. It could even be that corn was the first genetically modified species by humans. It was domesticated somewhere in the Tehuacan Valley around 9,000 or more years ago. And it quickly became a feature in many indigenous gardens. The word milpa in Spanish, which now refers to a sort of Mexican garden, actually comes from the word mi in Nahuatl, which means garden. In Taino, the word conuco or cunucu is what was traditionally used. But whether in a milpa or conuco, the same sisters were grown together. Sometimes a fourth or fifth sister was added, such as chiles or hot peppers. Now, this type of gardening was not what Europeans were used to seeing. They were used to seeing 
neat rows of the same plant over and over again. So when they came to the Americas, they thought the indigenous people didn't know how to plant. They thought that these types of gardens were messy and just wild. But the fact is that this type of gardening is actually the best way to grow plants. The plants help each other grow bigger and better and you get more fruits and veggies. So what happens when you plant these three sisters together? Let's begin with maisi or mahisi as it is known in Taino. That's where we get the word for maize or corn. The maisi or corn grows first. It has a very thin seed coat full of starch. When the water hits it, it triggers enzymes to turn that starch into sugars. The sugars become a fuel for the embryo inside and then it starts growing a long, strong stem. What's really interesting is that the leaves that the corn grows don't sit on top of one another. So each one gets sunlight. Next comes Pichu, the bean. Its seed swells with water and bursts, and it sends a tiny root down into the ground. But it's not gonna grow a stem until the root is really secure. And because it has so much energy inside the seed, including its first leaves, it doesn't need to grow a stem right away. It grows leaves first and then a long vine in a circle wrapping around the corn, which at this point is already knee high. The last one to bloom is Aoyama, pumpkin. It takes weeks for the first stems to poke out of the ground and it leaves have to break out of the seed. The pumpkin or squash extends herself along the ground away from the others. It has wide umbrella-like leaves. So why should you grow these three sisters together? Well, they have a sense of reciprocity, a give and a take. So the first one, corn, does a very obvious job. It supports the beans as they grow. The beans have an interesting job. They actually invite bacteria into their roots. This bacteria turns the nitrogen gas in the air into the nitrogen that the plants need in the soil. So really, the beans are feeding all three sisters. The pumpkin's job comes from one of its biggest features, its leaves. The big leaves help keep the soil moist so that it retains water. And it keeps the weeds from growing because it provides shade. In addition, the little hairy parts of its leaves and vines stop caterpillars, deer, raccoons, and other animals that might otherwise eat all the veggies. So if you haven't tried planting the three sisters together, I highly recommend that you do. You're going to have a more prosperous harvest. In the meantime, happy planting.